Mr. 259 Radios here again. Uh, this is a Cobra 25 LTD ST that I'm working on for a customer that dropped off. Um, now, upon first hooking this radio up, uh, put it on the power meter here. It looks like it does a lot of watts. Let me look on the meter. Let's get it to focus here. So, keys up around 6. Audio. Looks like it's swinging up almost to 12. Uh, the only thing is a lot of that power is going to waste. If you look on the spectrum analyzer here. Audio. All those little spikes and stuff off to the side uh, is distortion and what that is. Um, and if you if you look at the waveform on the scope. Audio. All that flat topping that's going on there, you don't want that either. What I found in here is that uh, someone did the, the classic hack on this radio. I don't know how well you'll be able to, to see it in here. If I can even get the camera in the right spot. But someone right there, right in the middle, someone clipped your limiter diode. Uh, that prevents your radio from going over 100% modulation and causing splatter and uh, interference on the band. That's a classic hack mod that inexperienced radio techs will do along with just spreading out the coil back here. Uh, so it gives you the appearance that you're putting out a lot more power on the meter here when it's over modulating like that. Audio! Hello, radio, one, two. But if you actually set the modulation... Hello, radio, one, two. Where you, where you get nice clean waveforms like that. Hello, radio, one, two, audio. You can see it only actually gets up to about six or seven watts of clean power. And I'll show you on here again for comparison. Hello, radio, one, two, audio. That's what it should look like. A lot better than all those lines on the side. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna put that limiter back in, and then we're gonna do a proper tune on this along with the MOSFET mod, and you'll actually get clean power out of it, not dirty power like it's doing now, which will uh, make a big difference on the other end. Uh, the other thing is you'd had to switch on the side here. And you thought that was possibly for a variable dead key or, or a high and low dead key. And it actually ends up that's extra frequencies. This radio, uh, with the switch in the down position, the radio's upside down right now. With the switch in the down position, you're on the regular 40 channel CB band. It's channel 19 right there. And if I flip it, then you're uh, below, below the regular channel, 40 channels. You get a whole other band of 40 below the standard 40 channels. If I set this to channel 40 with that switch up, that's actually uh, the regular channel 1. And then anything under that is going to be below regular CB channel 1. So this radio's actually got extra channels in it. Kind of cool little modification uh, that it already has done to it. So that's where we're at. We'll get to doing the proper modification of this and I'll show you the result when we're done. Okay, just wanted to show you we got the limiter put back in there now. Uh, dial D9 right in the middle there. And it's already sounding a lot better. Looking a lot better on the spectrum analyzer too. Audio, audio. See how those little lines are gone? And I'll show you what it's doing for power now. For some reason this thing always has a hard time focusing on the meter. There we go. Audio. Audio. It's right up around seven watts. Audio, seven and a half. Um, I'll show you on the analyzer here what it shows for power. So right now with it in uh, sample mode, which is more like an average reading like what that meter would show you. Here's your dead key. Audio. About seven and a half. Set it to peak. Audio. 
about 25. All right, we'll do the MOSFET mod and tune her up and we'll be back. All right, here's a quick video to show you the performance of the receiver before I do the tune-up on it. Um, the manual says it's supposed to have a sensitivity, sensitivity of less than one microvolt. So I get up to one microvolt, that's about how loud it is. Uh, the meter doesn't start it even moving until about 2.5 microvolts. That's where it first moves at. Yeah. Or 2.5 microvolts. So we'll do the tune up on the receiver and see how we come out. Alright, we're back with the Cobra 25 here. Got, the, got it all put back together and ready to go. I'll show you how the receiver turned out here. Sensitivity is a lot better than before. Let's see if I can get it to zero in here. And we'll be back, I'll hook up so you can see what the transmit's doing. Alright, got the transmitter side hooked up now so you can see what it's doing for power. Now over here on the meter. Got a little over a 3 watt dead key. Audio. Audio, one, two. Audio. And then uh, here's the peak power reading over here. Audio, audio, one, two. Hello. Audio, hello, radio. Right up to 40 watts there. And uh, I get the modulation set with the limiter back in. Audio, one, two. Audio, hello. Audio, check, one, two. Hello, radio. It looks nice and rounded off now, not all uh, flat top like it was before. And then I'll show you the uh, spectrum analyzer screen here. You see it's a lot cleaner than last time. Audio. There's not all those little spikes off to the side when it's modulating. So it's all, uh, it's all clean power now. 40 watts on the frequency that you're on, not spread out all over the band. So well, it turned out pretty good. Should work good for you.